What's up, guys? It's Sharice from Titan. I'm sure you all know that already. So I have a decent little soapbox tonight. Um, it's not really even a soapbox, I guess. It's more or less a asking for advice box, okay? So I'm trying to figure out, and I really, really could use like any sort of outside advice whatsoever, whether you're an entrepreneur, maybe you're a coach, maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're a nurse, maybe you're whatever, whatever it is. But I need some advice, okay? So I'm trying to figure out, and this has been like super complicated for me to figure out over the past few years, but it seems as though it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. So I'm trying to figure out like the happy medium, okay? How do you, I guess I'm trying to ask, how do you get to find the like the nice happy medium for when you're an employer and you have employees, you know how when you work together with people all the time and you kind of become like family, you guys are really good friends and sometimes the, the, the lines get a little blurred, you know, and this doesn't just go for employees of mine. Okay. It goes for athletes. It goes for the people that are, you know, tight nets, all that stuff. But I haven't quite found out how to like how to draw the line between being a boss, being a friend, and then being a family member at the same time. I don't know how to do it, and I'm still working on it. There's this fine gray area in this like lovely line of, you know, business, and it's really really hard, especially when you are, you know, when you're really close to these people. So I'm just trying to figure out if there's any good advice out there from anybody because I really could use it. Mm. I absolutely love my employees, okay? And I absolutely love my athletes. I love my tight nets. I love everybody we've ever worked with and everybody that we've ever worked side by side with. And I've never been that type of person because I'm not the type of person that feels as though, this is the best way for me to say it, so I'm not the kind of person that feels like I'm above everybody else, right? Because I don't come from like this rich, expensive family. I don't. I don't come from very much at all, actually. So I'm very grounded. And you know, John's pretty grounded too. And he comes from a family of entrepreneurs. But because I'm so grounded and because I come from, you know, I worked a nine to five job. I know what it's like working under mainly doctors, because that's what I've worked for before, is doctors. I've worked for plenty of doctors. And to be totally honest with you, working for doctors, I would say nine out of 10 of them are assholes. Hi, Emily. This is one of my, one of my babies. She's like my baby. And she's my, also my employee, but she's also my baby. And it's so hard to find the happy medium between the baby and the employee. I just don't know how to find it. It's very hard. <sighs> so anyways, because I don't feel like I'm superior and I never like to act like I'm superior above all the other people, it sometimes put me in a situation where I'm having to have, have to demand it to where it's like, okay, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going down. This is how it's going to take place, period. There is no ifs, ands, buts, no crying about it, no hustle and bustle, whatever. It's, it's going to be this way, and that's all it's going to be. No questions asked. But I don't like being a bitch about it. So I'm like trying to find the happy medium. It's not, uh, uh, it's hard, Emily, okay? Because I love you guys. You guys are like family. You know, and it's, it's sometimes it's hard to reprimand people that are like family, especially when you guys like when you're really, really tight with these people. Now, people that are in the internal office that have been there for quite some time, I do feel super close to those people. OK, Peter, go get that for mom. What? So it's, it's hard for me to sometimes feel like I, I don't know. It's hard. It's really hard. But what's been even worse than the employee thing, because 
you create this relationship with them. And it's not just like in work and outside of work, but I mean, like you really do create a great relationship with them. And trust me, it creates a wonderful working environment. Because we're all super close. We all look out for each other. And that's just what it is. It's, it's amazing. Because I've worked in so many doctor's offices or so many places, period, where people are just, it's so dry. It's nobody gives a shit about anybody. The turnover rate's super, super high. Nobody cares about anybody's feelings. And it's just one of those places where you just, you know, you clock in, you clock out, leave, do your job, go on about your merry business. But it's like, you know, I feel like these people that work in the office, especially, I feel like they're invested and like I care about them a lot. I do. I just sucks when I have to reprimand somebody or, you know, one of those things where it's like, listen, we've got to do it this way. Now, that's just the employees. That's a whole separate kit and caboodle to speak with. Now, when it comes to, let's see, my CEO and I have been working together and brother like sister, but we fight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But see, that's the thing is that, you know, when it comes to, you know, having to, uh, when having to work side by side, there comes some points where you're going to have to be the superior in that situation. And it just is what it is. So let's get to, I'm going to back it up a little bit here. Okay. We're all adults. We should be able to take constructive criticism. Chrissy, I love you. You're actually one of the most amazing women I've ever met. I'm actually going to put that out there because, man, you are a smart cookie. So you belong to me forever. Anyways, so when it comes to the athletes, okay, the athletes, the tight nets, that kind of stuff, we've been doing it for quite some time where we, you know, we sponsor people, yada, yada, yada. So we obviously build relationships with people over a period of time, okay? Now, over this period of time, we become close with these people. Like, you know, like friends. It's like friends and family, super tight with them. So here's what sucks, okay? And it sucks, 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 sucks. I can't even tell you how bad it sucks. (laughs) But it sucks because when they don't do their part, but yet they still want you to do your part. And you. St- this is what happens is me and John will still do it. Okay, so you didn't do your part. We are so busy that we didn't even address it because we're just too busy to address it. Now, when we finally do hold somebody accountable and say, hey, listen, you know what? You didn't do this, 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 and this. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hold up our end of the bargain. Now, all of a sudden... You know, shit hits the fan. Everybody wants to get salty about it. So I'm just trying to figure out there. I mean, guys, there has to be, right? I mean, there has to be like some sort of happy ground of like how to figure this out where you can still have a good relationship with your employees slash athletes slash models slash promotion people, whatever you want to call it. And still be able to demand what needs to be done versus being taken advantage of. I hate to even say it like that, but I am going to say, I mean, that's what it really comes down to is in an instance. And I'm not even talking about my employees at this point, but just generally speaking about sponsored people, you get to a point where it's you're just getting to the point where you're being taken advantage of. So they still want you to take care of your end, whether it's, you know, taking care of their therapies or taking care of this, that, and the other, but they're not going to do their posting and they're not going to work any events and they're not going to do anything. They're just going to, you know, here comes the whole thing with the entitlement thing. You know how I feel about the entitlement thing. I don't, I don't agree with it at all, but I mean, it's, it's crazy. I'm like, you know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it. You know, William, look, so Sharice, you have to establish boundaries. This will prevent favoritism. I, I know this. Yes. And accountability. Yes. You know what happens though, is when you get super busy, holding somebody accountable is really hard. Okay. Cause you're so tied up and trying to do 500 other things. Then you hire somebody to hold that person accountable. And then we still don't hold them accountable. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. At the end of the day, you are a business needs. Yes, absolutely, Chrissy. I know. 
And that makes it hard. It does. I'll be totally honest. I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay? So when I first met John, okay, I was one of those, if it doesn't benefit me directly, then I don't care kind of people. That was me, right? If How is it going to benefit me directly? If it doesn't benefit me directly, I don't care. And that's just how I was. I was a little cold. And it was probably just because of the way that I grew up and maybe the people I grew up around and some of the situations and the scenarios that I've grown up in. And it just turned me into that individual. And that's okay because I have that, that that's built into my personality. But, and you know, then I met John and John was the nicest guy you'll ever meet in your life. Literally the nicest guy. If I've told you some of the things that this guy has done, like to be so extra nice, like out there nice, it's like, you know, I had to step in and say, okay, listen, you aren't going to do this because this is way too much or you're not going to take care of this whole tab just because they said that you're going to. It just, I was that person, but he was that person that balanced me out to make me a better person. So I helped him be extra mean and he helped me be extra nice. So now I've gotten to a point where I'm actually truly genuinely nice, but now it bites me in the ass. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, how not to go to the next extreme of where I was when I met John when I was 21. I'm now 30, I don't remember, 30 whatever, 32, 33. I don't know, my birthday's coming up soon. But anyways, I'm trying to figure out how not to go to the extreme of being super mean and cold and trying to find this happy balance between being too nice and being taken advantage of because what happens is in the situation that I'm in now, it's like it always gets turned around on us. It, it, it's, it's inevitable. You know, you take care of somebody for so long, they take advantage of you for so long, and then you finally decide you're going to cut the cord because you aren't getting anywhere and it just doesn't make any sense or it doesn't make any business sense or they decide to go and promote for some other company or they're just not doing anything at all. I mean, think about it. How cool would it be if you could go to work and do absolutely nothing and get paid? Cool, right? Like super cool? Yeah, that doesn't happen. That's my point. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out any advice you guys have. I'm all ears. I'm, I'm never the first person to say that I know everything. But I'm telling you, man, it's been a battle. I'll tell you. It's been a super, super battle. William, you might be able to help me out. Definitely. I just got to find the time to allocate to sit and talk with you, <laughs> considering that my time is super limited. It just gets more and more limited every day. Employees should know from the start, no matter what, that you're the boss and rules and guidelines. Absolutely. And my next favorite employee jumps on here for this wonderful conversation. Um, but anyway, so... They do, honestly, the girls in the office, they do respect me. I'm not going to take that from them at all. And we actually have a great working environment. And they also know when something's not right that I'm going to obviously turn the wheel. And I'm going to be like, listen, this is what needs to happen. It needs to take place like this. This is how it needs to go down. Th now I'm serious. You know, it's just, I guess, that, like I said, I think more or less I'm trying to find that happy boundary, especially more than anything else. Because we're going to be hiring, okay, more employees. As these people come in, I'm like, okay, so I've already established this type of relationship with these people that are in the office that are like family. I love them. You know, they're amazing. I wouldn't trade them for the world, okay? But for the future people coming in, we need to set a different type of precedence because it's just, you can't be like that, you know? So I don't want to be mean, but I don't want to be too nice. And I don't want to be taken advantage of because that's like the worst feeling on the planet. And I'm still trying to figure out how to work this system of the, you know, sponsored people, you know, but honestly, I have some sponsored people. They've been with us forever and they are the best. 
You know what? I should probably even tag them in this just so they could see that I said that they're the best. But they are. They're the best. They're, they're amazing. They, they do what they're supposed to do. They rep the company. They're always wearing Titan clothes. They're always speaking highly of the company. They're always sending us people. You know, and, and it's, and those are the people that expect the least from you, if you can believe it or not. But then you have the people that literally do nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. And they're like, where is my shit? And I'm like, where is my shit? But when I say, where's my shit versus them saying where their shit's at, two totally different stories. So anyways, if you happen to watch my video and you have any great advice for me, please, please put it on my comment thread. I will read it. I promise. <laughs> um, but do not play with me, Joshua. There is no bugs on my wall because listen, listen, guys, this morning, I'm not even kidding. If you guys did see my last one and I'm like read about it because it was it's so true. So this morning I'm in the bathroom. And literally, <laughs> I'm like, there must be this water bug that is like following me around. And yeah, definitely made sure. This time, I made sure that I grabbed John to kill it. He's dead. And he's not coming back again. So anyways, funny, 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 funny joke, Mr. Joshua. Ha, ha, ha. Um, but anyways, guys, if you guys have any advice for me on how to you know, structure this a little bit, please let me know. And this goes across the board for a lot of different things. I mean, it's really John. Hi, Becky. John has really changed me to be a better person, which is good, right? You always want to be a better person because when he met me, like I told you, I was kind of cold. But with me being a better person, I also tend to give more and I also tend to be in more vulnerable situations. And I am an alpha. I do not like being in vulnerable situations. I do not like feeling like I'm taking advantage of because it's almost one of those things where it's like one of those, I don't have like, you know, it's like an on and off switch, you know? Like one of these little buttons right here, right? So it's like on or off. So like you turn it on, off, on, off, right? So it's either on or it's off. There is no like halfway point when you have that switch, right? You can't just like put it in the middle and then like it, it gets like tinted light. Yeah, I don't have that structured in here. It's either really good or really bad. So I'm trying to find the happy medium. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that can give me some really great advice on how to do it. I mean, obviously, you have to hold people accountable. So you have to make sure that you hold people accountable. I get it. And you have to make sure that you lay out the ground rules from the beginning. Peter, I'm still on my live. He's on his Fortnite thing or whatever. So anyways, but you have to make sure you lay out the ground rules so that everybody knows in the beginning that this is what it is. But here's the thing, guys, is that we do lay out the ground rules. I'm gonna give you a prime example. We lay out the ground rules, right? Say we hire on a tight net. We lay out the ground rules. Hey, you got to post out this many times. You got to do this, 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 and that. Okay? This is what you need to do. Yes, I understand. Okay, great. You need to work at least one promotion. We're going to pay you for it. We're going to do this, this, and that. Yes, I understand. Do you understand you have to do these things? Yes, I do. Do you know how to do these things? Yes, I do. Perfect. You have access to do all of these things, correct? Yes, I do. Perfect. Anybody want to tell me how? how I, I, we get a message, you know, later on stating that they don't go on social media. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out, okay, so remember that one time at band camp? No, I'm kidding. But no, seriously, do you remember that one time we had that conversation about, you know, you posting on your social media outlets and, and making sure that you, you, you get your posts out? Yeah, so, so what happened? Did you not hear us or did you forget or did you not understand i'm super confused i am trying to figure this out guys i know i'm not a genius i mean but golly i'm super smart okay <laughs> but i am not a genius i'm just trying to figure out like where's the disconnect because i do know that i am speaking english 
I'm pretty sure I'm speaking English anyway. So I need to find out where the disconnect's at because there's a super duper disconnect. Either that or black and white. We're just picking the wrong people. I don't know. I don't know what to say. So anyways, that's my rant for today. As it makes it super frustrating, super duper duper frustrating, trying to figure out how to be a good person slash employer and slash whatever the hell else I'm considered, okay? But it's hard, you know, because listen, guys, I, I, know, I don't ever think I'm above anybody else. I never have. I never will. doesn't matter where I'm at in life. doesn't matter if I have a dollar in my bank account or if I have a lot more than a dollar in my bank account. It doesn't matter. I'll be the same old G forever. It doesn't matter, you know, and that's just how I am. I was just structured that way. So, yeah, if you have some good advice, send it over. And anyways, I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful weekend because I am definitely planning on disconnecting from something this weekend. Maybe just my laptop and not actually like from my phone with my email and access to all the rest of the stuff. So really not disconnecting, but disconnecting. So anyways, I hope everyone has a good night. William, you'll have to inbox me because I'm sure you have some good ideas for me. And uh, I hope everyone has a good night. I hope everybody has a good week. And to the people out there that do do what they're supposed to do, I love you. To the people out there that do respect us in the light we should be respected in, I love you. And I thank you for that. And I am out for today. My Ford's garage just got delivered and I'm about to go eat my fried shrimp. (laughs) Anyways, guys, have a great night. Sending my love. See you later.